grab that salted caramel one. Don't, don't get do that it. shit. Please get don't this. do it. Please get don't. This. Do not get that salted caramel Please shit. Please don't. Not unless you want diabetes. <laughs> mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. Yo, 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 we back in the building for another episode of the Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey podcast, man. Everybody loves BBW. You already knew that, though. The whole gang is in the building, man. I got Angry Principal off camera. What's up? Got my man Bo in the building. So, And, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Uh, so this time we go go uh, across the border a little bit and across the border in Detroit, actually, going over to Canada. But uh, so we go, we get into a Canadian whiskey that everyone's probably familiar with. It's, uh, this is the Crown Royal. I was about to say Royal Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you, know, yeah. I, you know I'm fucked up. All right, so yeah, this is Crown Royal, but this is something a little bit different, right? So this is 101 proof, right? So, and I want to give a shout out real quick to uh, Harper Land Liquor uh, out in uh, Clinton Township, who this is their store pick. And to be honest with you, I, I, I'm a Canadian. I'm a Canadian whiskey fan to a degree. Like, there's not a lot of them I drink, but there's a, a few. Uh, there's a few Crown Royals that I drink. Crown Black, um, yeah, Crown, <laughs> Crown Black, Black is my Crown Black. Crown Black is is yes. Crown Black it, is that right? Now this one though is 101 proof, so or 103 rather. Now I've never had a Canadian whiskey over 100 proof, so I'm really kind of curious. Like, what is what is going to be? Like, I never had a a hundred proof or above kind of Canadian whiskey. So uh, what happened was I was actually at Harper land liquor looking for some other stuff for us to do on the show. And they were bringing these in and he was putting it onto the store pick show. So I, I took a look at it. Cause like, you know, I, I, I see as a, a crown roll that I never had. So I just want to see what it was. And, you know, dog kind of gave me the story on it. And he said that these are kind of hard to find. He said, he's not really, he wouldn't normally use this as a store pick, but for whatever reason, he said that he enjoys this one. So I'm going to take his word for it, and we're going to kind of see what it does. Um, I, I will say this, though. Uh, price point, though, was uh, $59.99, so not, not, too, not too crazy. And I just wanted to mention that because I do remember that we had the XR, uh, which is, the I think, one of the higher ones. And that was like 100 yeah, I think I want to say like $130 or something. something like that. And completely terrible. Like I hated it. Like I hate it went terrible. That was terrible. Yeah, it was bad. terrible. Well, it, was bad. Was terrible. Bad. it was bad. It wasn't terrible. It was terrible. Well, that was terrible. It wasn't terrible. So I'm I'm excited to see what this is gonna be like. Obviously, it was, it's not $130, so like it, I didn't break the bank to get it. Um, but he did mention, I think I'll go ahead and share it with you guys too. He did mention that there may be uh some vanilla taste to it, kind of like crown vanilla. I am a, a fan of Crown Vanilla though, so that wouldn't wouldn't be too much of a bad thing. But you we're going to like see Honey Jack, and there's nothing wrong with Honey Jack. Yes, there is. It's, it's completely for, for people wrong. out here hating. There's nothing wrong. I'm with. hating. You want some glass with like... that drink? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm pouring that shit pretty heavy. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's Gatorade, boy. Okay, let me see what we got here. It's a twist top, so no. no yeah, no cork. Yeah, I'm sorry. We skipped the cork part. <laughs> there's no cork. I do like the crown on the top, though. It's kind of dope. You're talking off the nose. Nothing. I don't either. Canadian that's whiskey. That's why I asked. Canadian whiskey, yeah. I'm just wanting to be sure. Hey, you, you, know you, know you know that that sniff of alcohol when you use some alcohol in the bathroom? Mm -hmm. That's what I smell. It. There's, there's nothing here. It's it's something. Alcohol, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. You're, right. <laughs> you're right. It's alcohol. You're right. It's very alcohol. I tried alcohol. to do it. Yeah. Let's see what it tastes like. Definitely got some strong vanilla notes. To strong it, vanilla, especially on the finish. It's just stronger crown. It is. I like it. It's though. classic crown, but stronger. You know what the finish is like to me? Hmm. Like this take me back. We talk about memories, right? This take okay. me back. That finish is almost like a Mister Softy vanilla ice cream cone. <laughs> For real. I on the it. finish, I can see that. On the finish, I mean. I can see that. Remember the ice cream truck, Mr. Soft? Yeah, for white? sure. Yeah. For sure. But anybody who gets into drinking dark liquor, you're going to hit Crown at some point. Oh, absolutely. This is, to me, classic Crown, mm -hmm. just stronger. That That's it. What was the price point on this? Uh, 59. Okay. 
So not bad. I mean, not, I, actually, not bad. Not bad. I mean, so this, I'm trying to remember. So we getting the black for like what forty, like thirty seven, something like this. Yeah, high thirties, low forties, yeah, low forties. Yeah. So yeah. So out of the last three weeks, mm-hmm. this is my favorite so far. Yeah, I like it. I like it, and I and I won't say outside of Evan Williams, Bottom and Bond. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> So I'm a again, I'm a Crown Royal uh fan and I am a, a fan of the vanilla. When he mentioned the vanilla, I, I was kind of thinking it was going to taste like crown vanilla, but not not as the vanilla isn't as strong. No, but it's strong it, it's present. Well, yeah, it ain't nothing like crown vanilla. Yeah, no, it's present though. And it's a relatively for for a 101, it is a relatively short finish though. Um, but I think that's reminiscent of most Canadian whiskey. See, I don't think so. I get, a long, 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 long. I get a long vanilla finish on mine. I don't know. That, that shit disappeared on me. Not for me. Yeah, vanilla know. disappeared, but the rest yeah. of it, I do have a nice hug. A little, a little, I got a nice hug. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, good. this is actually decent. I like it. I like it. For the price point, I'm not off the yeah. buyer. No, I'm, I, I'm actually... I'd pay 60 for it. All right, Harperland yeah. liquor. Yeah, I really... I would prefer this over regular crown. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Now, it's going to be a... It's gonna be a toss up though with Crown Black because I no you I know. prefer this over Crown Black. What mm-hmm. I don't know I, 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 I don't do. know about that one. I do, but then again I'm gonna tell you like this though I haven't had Crown Black in quite some time. It's been a while. I had a couple if weeks I, ago. If I have it now, it might be different. Maybe. What What did you think though? So when was the last oh, time I, you I had still, it before? I, I had it a couple weeks ago. Oh, and like yeah, I, and, I still like it. You yeah. Know? yeah, it's still my shit. Yeah, I but just haven't had none. If I pick this between that this and this, and the black. I pick this. Word. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm like, I we, might have, to, I we might have to do a comparison. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to compare these. Yeah. I, I like this. And yeah. black is black is what still eighty or is it? No, I, I, I think remember. it's ninety. Ninety. I think okay. it's ninety. Might be ninety. All right. It just had a bite to it. That yeah, the that, that none 90, of the other ones had it. But ninety had a lot of bite to it. So. Yeah, so I like this really though. Good. Yeah, this I is like good. Yeah, I was I was a little concerned because when he told me about the vanilla, I'm like, oh man, <laughs> the homies ain't gonna like that. <laughs> As long it's as it ain't honey it's, jack it's uh, not or, power, or, or uh, what's that shit? Fireball. Right. Good. What's crazy about it, though, is that you can't smell it. Like, on the nose. Oh, I smell alcohol. I don't smell no vanilla, yeah. any vanilla, none of that. That's crazy. I wonder how that works. All right, well, you got our... Uh, it pairs well with the cigar. Does it? It does. You yeah, know it really does. I it, gotta, has, it, it doesn't take away. It doesn't give any extra. It just it's right yeah. there. It's in a sweet spot. Okay. I've got a uh, I've got a sweeter cigar, so I don't know. I'm gonna try mine after the break. Uh, matter of fact, also too, when we get back from the break, we're gonna give our one to five uh, Black Power ratings. But I also want to add a little bit of water to it too, just to see what happens. But we go check that out on the other side of the break, man. But till then, everybody loves BBW. You already knew that though. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. We'll be back right after this. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. And we're back. Everybody loves BBW, man. You know what that means. Beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is back in the building. Angry Principal, Bo over here. And, of course, your boy Q Lewis holding it live from the 4205. Uh, all right, so... During the uh, commercial break, I added a little bit of water to it. Uh, Angry Principal said he he probably preferred without the water, right? I prefer it without because mm-hmm. the only thing it did it bring out it did bring out some spice in the taste for me, but uh, I prefer it without the water. It does. Um. So yeah, I I think that I think you're right on that. It does bring out the spice. I could probably, I I guess preferably I guess without the water. Um. But I could have it either way. I, I think though. What what you think about it, Bo? Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind it either way, yeah. uh, but I do prefer it without the water as well. You know, um, for, Anger Principle is right. You know, it, it, the water did bring out some spices, things like that. But it kind of, for me, it kind of shortened the hug. You know, it does that. Yeah, thing. you know. So, uh, yeah, I prefer it without the water. Okay, I, like I said, I can do either one. I think it's pretty good though. This is actually, uh, and and uh, what I didn't think that with the uh, sweeter cigar, because I got a, a fat bottom Betty. I didn't think that it would pair well, but it actually uh, is okay. Because a lot of times when you got a a sweetness in the cigar and then you got a sweetness, uh, you know, in the beverage, it's kind of, it doesn't offset well. This actually works. Maybe it's because of the spice 
uh, that it offsets it. So yeah, it's actually a pretty good combination. But um, I like it though. So yeah. we go we go go around the table and see what the ratings are. Uh, Angry Principal, we'll start with you this week. Uh, one to five, Black Power Fist, man. What you giving it? This is a solid three for me. Okay, I think I like it a hundred times better than Regular Crown. Mm. Uh, it's on par with Black Crown Black. Mm -hmm. uh, the price point is not too bad, especially at one hundred degree proof, and you know it's something different than what Crown normally does. Sure. They're normally at what eighty. 80. 80, black yeah. 90. I think black's 90. Okay. So this is 103. It's a step up. Yeah, you're going to pay a little bit more, but mm -hmm. I like it much better than regular crown on the same par as, as, as crown black. So okay. I'm giving it a three. Perfect. But what you say? Pretty similar over here. Uh, I put it just a little bit above crown black. I think that's the only difference really from anchor principle. Um, I don't mind the price point. Uh, definitely going to revisit it. Definitely going to be on the bar. Mm -hmm. uh yeah I, I like it i give it a solid three for sure uh, and okay. one, one more thing uh the water i think like we mentioned a little, little bit earlier it brings out some of the spices but for me kind of shortened that hug but uh outside of that yeah it's a mm -hmm. solid bottle right here for sure and i agree and I, I think it does shorten the hug a little bit um and it does bring out the spice but i'm cool either way like i could have this either way so i could have it neat or i could have it with a you know a couple of drops of water or maybe even an ice cube, I think it's is uh is fine. Um, as far as it being a hundred and three proof uh Canadian whiskey, uh, this was something surprising for me because I never had it. Um, I think it's I want to say that it's kind of even for me right now with the uh crown black, only because I think it's a is a it's quite a bit of a, a taste profile difference. So I can kind of have both of those at the same level. Mm -hmm. I will say this though, um, if you guys remember uh the not the xr but the xo we didn't i don't think we reviewed the xo yeah. um but i've had the xo which is which is 69.99 so it's cheaper than the xr and, and better than the xr i think this is reminiscent of that with the hint of vanilla so for that i think this is ten dollars cheaper so this is actually probably one of the better crown royals i had uh the black again used to be my go-to I haven't had it in quite some time, so I really can't make a comparison. But that means that coming up pretty soon, we'll be doing some kind of comparison on that and the uh, black. But for me, I'm going to uh, I'm going to give it a three. Um, and the only reason I'm not giving it a three point five um, is because it's a the vanilla finish does remind me of uh, ice cream, <laughs> like you said <laughs> earlier. It's salty. And I maybe not so much. If it was a little more caramel, I probably would have gave it a 3.5. But for me, like, definitely about to be on the bar. And I, I will revisit yeah. this again. Look, so let me add something, too. Mm -hmm. Would it be in holiday season? Mm -hmm. you know, will, it, will it be? Yeah, holiday it be. season. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, this would be like a perfect gift, you know. For somebody who enjoys whiskey or whatnot, you know what I mean? Yes. Not too expensive, ain't too cheap. Nice, you know, subtle. Not mm. going to overpower them either way. And the you reason I mean? that I wholeheartedly agree is because I know that it's holiday time, and you probably go try to grab that salted caramel one. Don't, don't get do that it. shit. Please get don't. This. Do it. Please get don't. This. Do not get that salted caramel Please shit. Please don't. Not unless you want diabetes. <laughs> and, and all your tupuses to be hurting. All your tupuses. Tupus. <laughs> So I got a, uh, I got a three. I'm sorry, but what you say? You, you said three. three? Yeah. yeah. All right. So we got two threes, and you had a three. three also, right. Three is all, right, all so around. Three is across the board, man. Definitely something to put on to the shelf. Um, it's it's kind of limited. So if you see a bottle, I suggest that you do grab it. Uh, even if you're not traditionally a, a Crown Royal fan, I think that the proof on this one and the the the, the slight. Vanilla profile is 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 convincing. It's but something you should have. Actually, on what's good about this is very it's very subtle. It's subtle. It's yeah. subtle. Very subtle. So, it's subtle, but it's there. It's a nice little twist in in your taste profile mm -hmm. for this because you don't smell anything. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, no, you, taste it. you don't smell nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You smell anything but rubbing alcohol. But, right. You know. But once you taste it, you do get the vanilla, and it's subtle. Yeah, for sure. So I agree. Yeah. So we threes across the board. Make sure you check this out if you haven't already. Leave comments below if you have had it and you want to tell us that it sucked because we because we love it. So whatever, it don't matter. <laughs> also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. And hit that QR code below and you can see all the merch that we offer. Glasses, T-shirts, hats, all kind of stuff, man. Uh, that's it. We about to finish drinking. And then make sure you check out all the replays at everybodylovesbbw.com. Till the next time. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beards, bourbon 
Whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is about to be out of here. My man, Angry Principal. Off Drink camera. what you like, how you like. My oh, man, Bo in the building. Hey, if y'all wonder what Angry Principal look like, check out the figure. <laughs> it's out there. It's check out it out. There. Don't look at the past episodes. It's out there. Right. We finally got him on camera. Uh, <laughs> we finally got him, boy. Right. <laughs> I'm still, like, I'm still like respect the hairline now. Come on. <laughs> I wanted I wanted to be completely not you. That's why I did that. Because you're the only one in here with a hairline. So like, why art she go? <laughs> All my hair is on my chin. That's it, uh, bro. <laughs> and my taco beans. I saw that picture. I was like, wait a minute now. <laughs> hey, you know I'm, I'm, it's out there. Go check it out. You know I be hating on the hairline. So I'm like, yeah, let me give him a ball. Here. Uh, <laughs> it's your boy Q Lewis, man. <laughs> Hold it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all. Looking like a black Ronald McDonald with a yellow <laughs> ring. <red. laughs>